Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So these are some of the reflex actions. So now we are done with the central nervous system. That is we talked about brain and the spinal cord. So now do you think only brain and spinal cord alone can take care of the entire nervous system? No, we need so many nerves which can actually run throughout the body because we need to get some, some nerves are needed to carry information from brain and spinal cord to all other parts of the body, right? Be it our legs, be it our hands. So everywhere the information needs to be carried. So for that we need a good number of nerves. For that we have the peripheral nervous system. So this system basically connects brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body. So it actually acts as a mediator between the central nervous system and all other body parts. It consists of two types of nerves. One is cranial nerves and the other one is spinal nerves. Now as the name suggests cranial is derived from the word cranium. What is cranium? We have spoken about skull, right? Skull is made up of two parts, cranium and mandible. So that cranium. So cranium is something related to the brain. So cranial nerves are those nerves which connects brain to different body parts. Easy to remember, right? Cranial related to cranium, cranium related to brain. So cranial nerves will connect brain to different body parts. Now there are a 12 pairs of cranial nerves, 12 pairs. That means total 24 cranial nerves exist. Similarly, we have another set of nerves which will connect spinal cord to the rest of the body and they are known as spinal nerves. The name itself tells it all. It connects spinal cord to different body parts. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves which exist in the human body. So let us look at those 12 pairs of cranial nerves and the 31 pairs of spinal nerves. However, we will not discuss about each of them in very much detail now, but at least I'll tell you the names so that at least you are familiar with which nerves fall in the category of cranial nerves and which nerves are spinal. So let us have a look at the cranial nerves. That is, these nerves will originate from the brain. So these are the cranial nerves. So the 12 pairs of cranial nerves, right? So here we have a picture depicting each of them. So we have olfactory nerve. Olfactory, the word olfactory means smell. So olfactory nerves, they help, they help in the perception of smell. Then optic nerves helps in vision. Oculomotor nerve. So here you can see each of them. Here you have the optic nerve. Here you have the olfactory nerve. Here you have the ocular motor. See, each of them exist in pairs. So here you have the olfactory nerve. There are two olfactory nerve. Optic nerve, you have two optic nerve. O ocular motor, you have two ocular motor. So everything exists in pairs. So that is why 12 pairs. So here we have talked about 12 nerves and each of them exist in pairs. So these nerves, ocular motor, trochlear and abducens, three of them help in the eye movement. So you see there are so many nerves arising from brain. Now the area where brain is located you have the sense organs as well. For example eyes, ears, mouth. So everything is there. So it th those facial things will be controlled by each of these nerves. Now how do they control eye movement or how do they control vision? We are not going to discuss about all those details now. We will do that in our higher classes. So for now you should just know that these are the nerves. Trigeminal which helps in chewing. So here you have the trigeminal nerve, here you have the trigeminal blue colored, these are the trochlear. Then you have the facial nerve, it controls the muscles in facial expressions. So like when we are happy, we have a different facial expression. When we are sad, we have a different fa facial expression. So this, everything is connected, right? So when we are happy or when we are sad, so all these information gets communicated inside our body through the hormones as well as through the nervous system and that is how everything gets controlled right then we have vestibulo cochlear which helps in hearing we have glossopharyngeal which controls muscles in swallowing we have vagus nerves which conveys the sensory information about various organs to the heart 
We have spinal accessory which controls muscles and head movement and hypoglossal which controls the muscles of tongue. So here in this picture you can see the position of each of them. So this is actually not a part of your syllabus to know each of the cranial nerves but I just gave you the name so that okay you can get an idea that okay, when you get to know that there, there exist 12 pairs of cranial nerves you kind of get surprised so many nerves where do they exist and why do they exist. So that is why I just gave you an overview of the picture of the different cranial nerves and why do they exist, what do they actually do. Now how do they perform these functions that we will discuss in our higher classes. So let us similarly have a look at the spinal nerves. So for in this we have a category of five different types of nerves. There exists eight cervical nerves, 12 thoracic nerves, five lumbar nerves, five sacral nerves and one cochlear nerve. So let us quickly have a location of each of these nerves. Now basically as I mentioned before also our body is divided into different cavities right. Uh, in, in one of the previous slide I was talking about the cavities like the abdominal cavity, the pelvic cavity, the thoracic cavity. Now these nerves are basically named after those cavities. So here you can see in this picture you can see the spinal cord here right. So the spinal nerves will be arising from the spinal cord. So let us first see this spinal cord is also named depending upon the area where it is located. So the part of the spinal cord which is located in the thoracic cavity is called the thoracic cord. The part of the spinal cord which is located in the cervical cavity is known as the cervical cord. So let us look at the different parts of the spinal cord. So it starts from here. So from here till somewhere around here, this is the cervical cord because this is the portion of the spinal cord which is located in the cervical cavity. Now from here starts the thoracic cavity and the thoracic cavity extends till here. So this is known as the thoracic cord. Right? After the thorax region starts the lumbar region. So from here till here is the lumbar cord because this is this portion of the spinal cord lies in the lumbar cavity. After that the bottommost portion that is the sacral cord because it lies in the sacral cavity. Now this now inside each of these cord, now this portion, the portion of the spinal cord which lies in the thoracic cavity is thoracic cord and the nerves coming out from that thoracic cord are known as thoracic nerves. Simple. So that means the nerves which are coming out from this cervical region, they are the cervical nerves. So here you can see the nerves coming out from the spinal cord. So the nerves coming out from the cervical cord region, cervical cord are the cervical nerves. Now here you can see there are 8 cervical nerves which come out from this region. Then there are 12 thoracic nerves which come out from this region. Then you have the lumbar nerves coming out from this region. So there are 5 lumbar nerves. And then from the sacral cord region, there are five sacral nerves coming out. And also there is a cochlegeal nerve, there is one cochlegeal nerve which also comes out from this region, from the lowermost region comes out one cochlegeal nerve. So all together you have 31 spinal nerves. Now the function of each of them again differs but they are named this way depending upon the location of the spinal cord from where they originate. Now each of them serve a different purpose, each of them is connected to a different part of the body. And that is how the peripheral nervous system works. It actually talks about all the nerves which is going to connect the brain and the spinal cord to the rest of the body parts. And as I mentioned before also there is another system which is known as autonomic nervous system which includes some set of peripheral nerves that will control the activities of the internal organs like heart, kidneys, lungs, glands, etc. 
so that autonomic nervous system also comes under peripheral nervous system so i think for now we have discussed enough about the human nervous system we have talked about the central nervous system brain spinal cord their structure and functions thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors Thank you once again.